Good day everyone. This is a simple guide for you in answering the quarter three week three lesson which is illustrating the combination of objects. I'd like to invite you to listen carefully and if possible kindly have pen and paper beside you or the copy of the module so that you can answer your module as you listen to this explanation let's start with this situation suppose your mother asks you to buy fruits in the market you were given the freedom to choose four kinds of fruits. If you choose in this order, mango, guava, pomelo, then avocado, will it make any difference if you choose in this order, pomelo, guava, avocado, then mango? Of course, the answer is no because it is the same set of fruits and the order is not important it is there where the idea of combination comes in so as I have said a while ago in this lesson we will illustrate what combination is let's say you select two fruits from the four fruits you bought when the order is not important choosing two fruits mango and guava is same as choosing guava and mango Thus, the number of ways of choosing two fruits from the four different fruits is six. Why? I hope you have an idea. Let's see an illustration for the possible answers. Here we have avocado, guava, mango, and pomelo, each represented by its initial letter A, G, M, and P, respectively. We have two possible methods that we can find the answer. First, we have by listing. We start with the pair. A G A M A P G M G P and M P So if you count it there are 6 To repeat we have A G A M a P G M G P and M P the second method is by diagram we have at the top we have A G M and P these are followed by three arrows each pointing to the next three initial letters for letter a we have under it 
G, M, and P. For G, we have under it A, M, and P. For M, we have under it A, G, and P. And for P, we have under it M, A, G. For the third row, we have now below G, we have A, G. So below M, we have now A, M. Then next is A, P. Under G, we have on the third row, G, A, G, M, G, P. For M, on the third row, we have M, A, M, G, M, P. For P, on the third row, we have P, M, P, A, and P, J. These are already the possible combinations of two fruits. Take note of the pair of letters with the same colors. It indicates that they are just the same. So there are only six possible pairs. As you can see, there are only six different colors. So what do we mean when we say combination in mathematics? Combination is mathematically defined as the number of ways of selecting from a set when the order is not important. So I'll repeat, it is the number of ways of selecting from a set when the order is not important. So it can be illustrated by listing, making a tree diagram or by making a representation as what was shown before. Since it is represented by a number, as you can see there are six in that example, that number can also be obtained by following a formula. So the number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time is given by this notation. If I would describe the notation, we have c followed by a parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, you have n and r separated by a comma, the equal sign. Then we have inside the parenthesis again, we have the n, the symbol for n factorial, divided by the quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial. Where we have, you have to understand that the n here should be greater than or equal to r. Why do you think it should be that way? Remember, we have n minus r at the bottom. If n will be less than r, then the value for the quantity n minus r will be negative, and that cannot be permitted under in the idea of factorial. We do not get the factorial of a negative number. So take note n should be greater or equal to r. Now, let's try it in this example. In how many ways can you do this task? Your mother asked you to do three household chores on Saturday. You can choose from the following washing the dishes, washing clothes, backyard cleaning, watering the plants, and fetching water. 
in how many ways can you do this task so instead of making the diagramming we'll use the formula so there are three household chores we have to take from the list of uh, chores there are five chores washing clothes backyard cleaning watering the plants and fetching water and of course washing dishes so there are five so therefore your n is equal to five and r is equal to three so if we have now to substitute it in the formula we have n replaced by five and r replaced by three so we have the combination of five objects taken three at a time which is equal to five factorial over the quantity five minus three factorial times three factorial which is now equal to five factorial over five minus three is two so you have two factorial times three factorial you can either expand five factorial two factorial and three factorial up to the last uh, whole number which is one or you can just have it the 5 factorial up to 2 factorial only and then only 2 factorial will be expanded below so you can use cancellation and then when you do that you have 10 as the answer which means that there are 10 possible combinations okay now we can check this answer by diagramming so for the diagramming let's use the following uh, symbols for washing dishes we'll use wd wc for washing clothes bc for backyard cleaning wp for watering plants and fw for fetching water so the diagram will be having like this your wd will be paired to WC, WBC, and WP first. And under WC, you have still three that can be paired. BC, WP, FW. And for BC, you have only two to be paired, WP and FW. And for WP, you have one, which is FW. Now, for the rest, we have WC, can be paired to BC and WP only and under it bc will be paired to wp and fw and under wp you have only fw and the last it will be bc paired to wp and then fw so the following are now the uh, possible choices of chores we have wd wc bc wd wc wp WD, WC, FW, WD, BC, F, WP, WD, BC, FW, WD, WP, FW, WC, BC, double, WP, WC, BC, FW, WC, WP, FW, and BC, FW, WP. These are the 10 possible combinations. So then, you will have to do the same thing when you answer the following practice exercise. We have here three problems. The instruction is for you to illustrate combination by listing the different selections. So you have to list. Okay, you are not going to use the formula but you will use listing and then find out how many combinations will there be based on your list so you have to write your answers in your paper okay please do it uh, legibly and neatly so that it will be easy for your teachers to check it so number one problem is choosing two out of four household chores which are cooking cleaning ironing and washing clothes number two in a raffle draw Erwin won a free trip to any two of these cities Baguio, Cebu, Bacolod, Legaspi, and Sambuanga. How many choices has he? 
Number three, a list of all possible selections of three ice cream flavors from six available flavors. Mango, chocolate, strawberry, ube, buko, pandan, and avocado. Okay, so I hope that you can follow properly the examples given previously so that you can be able to make your illustrations and find the right combinations and the number of combinations in each problem. So good luck to this. Hopefully you will be able to follow it. In case you don't, you just go back again to the recorded uh, instructions so that you can uh, be guided again. So if you are true with this, you have to answer the evaluation again to be answered in your paper for submission. So you in the evaluation, the instruction is you use listing, three diagram or representation to illustrate the combinations in the following situations. And you have to compute the number of possible combinations by using the formula. So you have three uh, tasks to make or to perform. You have to list, you have to make a diagram, and you have to compute using the formula. So the formula, the problems should I say are number one, picking three balls from a basket with ten balls with the following colors, red, green, yellow, blue, orange, white, violet, black, pink, and gray. Number two, choosing two questions to be answered out of ten item tests. And the last one, number three, forming triangles by connecting the points A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so I hope you'll be able to find the right answer. Please do it by yourself. Do not look for uh, finished answers that you just copy and then submit. You have to do it by yourself so that you will know. Okay, remember your grade does not mirror your uh, uh, level of understanding it's very hard to defend high grades which you cannot through your understanding okay so good luck and always do what is right okay thank you